up everybody, this is Nightwing2303 from KixOnCourt.com. Today we have a quick look at the Leaning the Devil. This actually is a new model um, and they don't release in the, the states. I actually bought these from a website called HighBasketball.com. It's a website that actually has been brought to my attention numerous times and I've always been hesitant to buy from them because I was never sure of their authenticity. Um, however, they're authentic so you know, I can't really complain. Uh, the The prices are higher, but they're they are a reseller, and they they ship to the United States or wherever it is that you need them to go. So um, it's more of a convenience thing. So again, I can't really complain. I was able to get something that I wouldn't have normally been able to get uh, within the states. They have a ton of other brands. Um, all of the stuff that it releases overseas, they got it. But again, it's like marked up. So just expect to pay well over retail. Some, some of them not well over retail, but like moderately over retail, plus international shipping charges and um, all that kind of good stuff. But this is going to be my first impression, so but with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright guys, so like I said earlier, these are what's known as the Devil. Kind of a weird name, but you know, it is what it is. So, um, I didn't name them. I'm just going to play in them. And um, this is uh, something that features two new technologies from Leaning. So the first of which is what they're calling Ultra Shell, which is uh, very, very similar to uh, the polyurethane coat or the rubber coat on top of the uh, Kobe 7. Um, and the Kobe 7 was more of like a rubbery kind of coat, so I'm not sure if it was polyurethane. That was actually the, the Kobe 6. Um, but this is definitely like a rubber TPU plastic type base, but it's like real, real soft and, and flexible. And you can see all the lines in there. That's actually lined by mesh. So it's going to be fairly breathable and, uh, again, flexible. Um, the second of their technologies that they have in here is what they call the cloud. And the cloud is the midsole cushion system. So um, they had a uh, commercial and all that stuff that, again, never reached the States because these weren't meant to release here. Um, and I put that on my website. So if I remember, I'll have the link directly to that page in the description box. Um, just in case you're ever curious and you want to check it out. It's kind of a weird commercial, and I thought it was funny. So, um, But yeah, as far as my first impression goes, this is the traction here. Um, this is similar traction to uh, what I played in with the villain. Um, they have some weird names, you know what I mean? Like the villain, the devil, what's up with that? But anyway, um, this is very similar. It's got this like kind of like Chevron logo-looking traction pattern, and... From what I remember, it worked fairly well. Uh, definitely not as good as like herringbone and things like that, but it definitely works. Um, this rubber here is like real soft, so it might grip really well, and all that kind of good stuff. And then um, the cushion again was that cloud. Uh, you could see right here. Hopefully, it'll focus. Yeah, there you go. Right there. That's actually the shoes logo. So that's the devil logo. Again, really strange. Kind of kind of weird that they do that, but. I mean, different cultures and all that stuff, so, um, but yeah, and I can't remember who wears these, but somebody in the NBA wears these, and he's got like a, I think he's on the Pacers, Paul George or something like that, I can't remember who it is, so sorry if I got your name wrong, but, um, they wear these, they're a yellow colorway, and all that kind of good stuff, um, as far as how it felt, it looks like Lunar Lawn, but it's, definitely doesn't feel like it, um, I expected it to be real fluffy inside, and it's not, it's actually pretty dense. So hopefully that'll break in, like when you're playing in them and stuff, and you'll get a little bit more comfort or bounce to it, or more of a cloud feeling, <laughs> since that's what it's called. But um, as of right now, they just feel kind of dense. They feel like the wades and all that stuff, which I don't mind. I find them to be comfortable. Um, but uh, yeah, as far as like a cloud feeling, definitely doesn't give that upon first impression. As far as the material goes, I already went over that. It's that ultra shell lined by um, that mesh material, and that goes all the way to the back here. And then this back here, or this back panel here, is actually just a synthetic piece. Um, it's, you know, reminds me of materials that you'd see on plenty of sneakers uh, from all brands. So, um, and the tongue is made out of that too, along with that that mesh. So, uh, but yeah, that's that's the materials. I think they're going to be fine. Um, feels supportive enough and flexible enough to where it's not going to bind or pinch. Um, as far as their fit, they fit true to size. So if you are interested, uh, just go with your true size. As far as the lockdown and everything goes, you can see inside um, you got decent collar padding, heel notch pillow, and then a high top ankle um, cut here. And uh, 
lockdown feels fine when they're laced up, but you know you can't really tell when when you're just standing in them. So that'll be something that goes into the performance review after they've been performance tested on court. Ventilation is pretty self-explanatory, just because of this whole upper. It's going to be pretty breathable. Um, I wouldn't say it's going to be like anatomic spawn breathable, but it'll be pretty damn breathable for most basketball shoes on the market. And then the overall support, again, it's going to come from that fit, the shell, this this kind of plastic ultra shell uh, that they have. Um, they have like a wide base outrigger, and then they also have a TPU shank, which you can see here, and then here, and right here. So uh, and you got torsional support and all that kind of good stuff. So um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that they'll play okay, but again, you never know. Uh, all of this stuff is just, first impressions are just speculation. Uh, it's just kind of like, try them on, give them a quick kind of like, oh, this is what I think might happen. Um, but it could be totally wrong. <laughs> like, these can be like real sloppy in the front. They can have no lockdown in the back. Traction could suck. C cushion could be like awesome. I mean, you really don't know. So, um, first impressions are just that, they're just first impressions, don't take them seriously. This is just kind of my thoughts spilling all over this video uh, out loud. So, um, But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, m mostly what to take from this video, not only is the shoe itself, but um, that place that I bought them from, their link is going to be in the description box below. But uh, they actually sell authentic sneakers, so you know if you are interested, if you can't find Wade's, like if you miss out on them on wayofwade.com or... Uh, you're looking for like the the, the wave weight one um, and all that kind of stuff and they got some sizes left in certain colorways you can go over there again it's going to be resale price so um, it's not going to be like retail and all that stuff but if you want them like that's where they'll be and uh, you know so it is what it is um, here's just a quick look at the other side same thing kind of a cool colorway so um, but yeah that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching um, thanks for all your support, and uh, stay tuned for the performance review on these guys, and until next time, guys, have a good one.